just I'm really good friends. I'm I'm giving them free publicity. Hi, uh, YouTube. Uh, not the most orthodox way of starting uh, the stream. Let me check that everything is in sync because as the professional streamer I am, I haven't checked it. So. Do, 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 do. Okay. Three, two, well, right, right, right. Okay, it is in sync. Synced enough. I don't have to worry about the camera, I just have to check that <laughs> the console audio is synced with the uh, with the microphone, which makes it a lot easier. But yeah, this is the official beginning of Dream Drop Distance. Me talking about uh, my friend's tattoo studio. Let's get right into it. How much do you know about Dream Drop Distance, chat? This this is a fucking magnificent way of doing this. Uh, because this on the 3DS version was Nikki on the lower screen and the rest of the cutscene on the on the upper screen. And the way they did it is like, oh, we only have one screen. What, what do we do? We put Fantasia Mickey on as an overlay. Like, oh, it's so good. It's also a really good intro. Like the, the, the whole pop-up book thing, it's, it's really fucking good. a good summary of the whole franchise up to this moment. Well, uh, the, the whole Sora journey up to this moment. Kingdom Hearts 1, Chain of Memories, Kingdom Hearts Days slash 2. Look at our boy! They really want to play with our feelings right from the fucking beginning, don't they? <laughs> Jesus. That HD remaster of the Semnus fight, just... Oh god, it looks so good. Incredible that we actually got a Kingdom Hearts that looked this good. Kingdom Hearts 3 ended up looking this good, and it's fucking unbelievable. Mm 
This actually never happened. They, Sora and Riku never faced Xehanort. They are setting the, the plot for Kingdom Hearts 3. <laughs> this is a look to the future, even though it's technically not the future. <laughs> Oh, such a good intro. Such a good fucking intro. I am so glad they actually made the port of this game and didn't make it... Uh, they didn't make it uh, a cutscenes only uh, thing like they did with the Nintendo DS games. By which I mean I played the demo and didn't vibe with it. Did you say something else in there, Pig? Because it it only it only showed the by which I played the demo. I think a message got got lost in the way. Also, hi. Standard, beginner, or proud? Fuck it, let's go standard. I I just did a whole game on on beginner. It hit my first message? Yeah, it did. It's the only Kingdom Hearts games I've played. Oh! We have to fix that, pig. I'm going to take you through the entire franchise. Whether you want it or not. Hey! Is this how you wanted it? Xehanort! You wanna fill me in? I am. Hey! Do you remember now, or... Wait... Did you never lose your memory? Realize I wasn't having fun? Maybe the... The HD version is more I'm fun for you. Xehanort. The the 3DS controls were a bit wonky. <sighs> your name is not Xehanort? My name... Is Ansem. You fucking liar, you're not. But how far could a raft take us? Who knows? If we have to... The eagle-eyed viewers might notice else. that Viku, even though Riku and Sora are wearing the Kingdom Hearts 1 clothes, Riku doesn't have the hair length he had on Kingdom Hearts 1. Riku, <laughs> His hair was different. I know. The waves are getting steep. They also the never got on the raft. Right. Using the the normal blade instead of his keyblade, he had a keyblade by this point. Memento tutorials, combat basics, play now or skip. Mementos are optional tutorials and flashbacks. Access them by selecting play now or view now. Yeah. Might as well do it. Move around and use the other camera. Use R3 to reset the camera. Try looking around. I did. Press X to attack. Attack one tentacle. Oh, it feels so weird to not ca to not have Combo Master after having Combo Master on the previous game. That's your HP, block or dodge. Uh, then hold R1 and... Oh, is that how you change the, the lock on target? That sucks. 
that's the worst way of changing the lock on target. Use your command, so pretty much the same as the previous game that we were playing. Only the commands go in a different order. Oh, you also use L1 to... ...to move through your commands. Is Freeze not getting to it? Apparently he isn't. Huh. I think it's the first time I see Freeze having a... a ...distance limit. Combat basics finish. Riku, where's your fucking keyblade? We both hit each other? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, like I'm gonna let you do that. Oh, now it's installed apparently. Where's all your power from Kingdom Hearts 2, Zora? Did you get Metroided again? I mean, he does have a scan. He didn't lose all the abilities, only some. That is blindingly fucking white. Said everyone that has seen me on a pool or at the beach. Or right now. There goes Odin, killing his students again by accident. Awesome. Flashback? Why wouldn't I want to see the flashback? If I wanted to skip As it, I could fucking skip master, it, but... Xehanort had a gift like few well, others. We get a summary, but I guess. great minds are often plagued by a single great question. What is the essence of the human heart that weakens us or empowers us? I know answer, who, he who he reminds me of. He sounds like Orson Welles. He sounds like fucking Orson Welles. That's where the voice reminded me of. That battles within us all. Xehanort had to know. So he renounced his duties as master and chose the Seeker's life. Since then, in many a guise, he has clashed with protectors of the light. Keyblade wielders like yourselves. And mark my words, he will trouble us yet again. We must be ready. Which is why you, Sora and Riku, are to be tested for the mark of he a He will trouble us yet again, master. because he is a troublesome asshole. 
No doubt you fancy yourselves masters already, but it takes years of training. Only a true master can teach you the proper way. Both of you are self-taught Keyblade wielders, an impressive feat. However, the time has come for you to let go of preconceived notions, forget what you know about the Keyblade, and begin your training again with a clean slate. Huh? Yeah. But that's a formality, right? I already proved myself. Me and the King and Riku, we can take on anything. Right, Riku? I don't know. I think that in my heart, darkness still has a hold. Again, why are you using that instead Walking of your keyblade? Changed me. I'm not sure if I'm ready to wield a keyblade. Oh, maybe I thank you for the answer. Tested. Riku, then count me in. Put me through the test. Just watch. Me and Riku will pass with flying colors. Very well then, Sora and Riku, let your examination begin. Where is Kairi? Oh yeah, hanging out on the island doing nothing as fucking usual, even though she's a Keyblade wielder. Glossary that discusses the Keyblades, Keyblade Masters, and Master Xehanort. We will read that right now. After falling, this mini game you take down enemies and collect prizes as you fall at high speed. Those goals vary from dive to dive. Pass through the ring, your objective is to pass through the goal ring, and that lights up when you have more center goals. Attack one reach when the target is in red, attack uh, when the target is in yellow. Is that the rainbow color weak points? What now? To defeat bosses, you will need to target their flashing weak points. Press circle to reduce the speed, press square to dodge. Chat. Hey, chat. You know that. You know that symbol on the enemy. You have seen that symbol before on the enemy. Just saying, they will explain what, what it is, but you have seen that symbol before. Back in the dandelion time. Don't forget to decelerate and dodge. Uh, if you pick up magic prizes, you can use a special magic attack. Okay. This must have been fun on the 3DS, I guess. Because you know the 3D and all. Why not? Because Mega Flare is not super broken. A Gold Diver. Ace Diver. Not bad. Could have done better. Spark Dive. Could have done better. Could have done a lot better. Oh, that's right! I was going to play... I was huh? going to play the World Sank with you, this fuck it! Is... Traverse Town. God damn it! Hey, what's with my clothes? Must be more of Master Yen Sid's magic.
Well, I guess we will play the ones with you eventually. Not right now. Welcome to Traverse Town. With a twist. But what happened to Riku? Riku! Hello! Riku! Shut it. Huh? It's not only Come your on clothes, it's also your ah! body. You you look like the younger you, sorry. Sora, right? Hi, Neku. Yeah, but uh, how do you know that? Looks like you're not a player. A player? Come on, keep up. In the game. Players get marked with the time limit. And this game, I can't afford to lose. I need my game partner. Okay. I don't know about any game, but can I help? What? Time out. Do you trust every total stranger you meet? Also, how did you know Sora's name? You're no good. You're not a player. And my pack's with someone else. Okay, so we can't be partners. Why don't I just help you out as your friend? Now we're friends? It's not that easy. Not saying it is, but you could make it easier. Yeah, sounds great. Whatever. Cool. Lead the way. <laughs> oh. I fucking love how Sora is super friendly and easygoing and Neku is the complete fucking opposite. <laughs> Tutorial on flow motion. I'm going to need it because I, I suck. Okay, it's shiny. So motion lets you use your environment to the fullest. Use square to slide into wall or pulse and enter flow motion. While in flow motion you can press circle to jump or square to gain a burst of speed. Okay. Slide towards the lamppost. Not bad. You don't always have to slide into flow motion, you can use some objects like handrails and ropes just by landing on them. Jump onto the rail and kick into flow motion. Cool! It still says see you again. Oh, that's adorable. That has been there since the first Kingdom Hearts. This door is completely new. This, this uh, thing was uh, locked, but it didn't have a door back in Kingdom Hearts 1. I know, game, I know. Jeez. That's just the tip of the iceberg. Not sure where to go? Go with the flow. Flow motion basics, tutorial complete. That felt like a Jet Set Radio kind of thing. Like, not sure where to go? Go with the flow. That sounds like Jet Set Radio. It shows you where you start so you don't get fucking lost and it leaves a path behind? Oh my fucking god. The, the quality of life on this game. Can I go to District 3 yet? Yeah. You open things with X, apparently. Okay. Uh, item commands let you use your items, blah blah blah. Yep, the number shown in your deck is the number of items you have. If you are out of an item, you cannot use it even if you leave it installed in your deck. Okay, speaking of decks and things, I use the D pad to go through the commands left and right to switch between deck commands and link commands. Use L2 and R2 to scroll through the commands. Use L2 and R2 to change lock on targets. That sounds super fucking useful and it's what we are going to do. Set to shift the list of commands up or down when initiating commands. 
let's flip it because I'm used to it from uh, from the other game. Deck scrolling after using a command automatically cycle your deck to your next available command. Not about that. Do -do -do -do. Titles on, vibration on. Okay, done. We have reports to read. Close, oh, sorry. I love that art. That art is really good. Keyblades. Key shaped weapon forged by men during the age of fairy tales. Any other origins have yet to be revealed. So they are not giving us information on how the keyblades are made. We only know they are forged by men during the age of fairy tales, but we don't have any other info. Uh, all keyblades have one of these three natures, light, darkness, or heart. Uh, Soros's keyblade is light, Riku's keyblade is darkness, and Kairi's keyblade is heart. These last two are exceptional. Most documented keyblades include Soros and Riku's are... Including Soros and Riku's keyblades are of light. Interesting. I always thought that Riku's keyblade was darkness. So you're selling, uh, the, they are saying that the only Keyblade of Darkness that we have seen is the one that Sora used on Kingdom Hearts 1 to, to free his heart, and the one that Riku used to free Maleficent's heart. No, that was a Keyblade of the Heart, that wasn't a Keyblade of Darkness. The heart must be proven before a Keyblade uh, will uh, appear in its master's hand. No lock can withstand the Keyblade, nor can any non-agent of light. Special Keyblades... something something... Special Keychains allow the Keyblade's appearance and performance to be altered. Keyblade Masters. Guardians of the balance between light and darkness. Through the bequeathing, they choose the next generation of Keyblade Wielders, training their bodies and tempering their hearts so that they too might one day be Keyblade Masters. While the War Master might be tossed around, only an existing Keyblade Master can pass on the title and its associated powers. They often elect to test candidates for the Mark of Mastery. Among the Keyblade Masters is one true successor who is tasked with protecting a hallowed ground known as Land of Departure. So the last actual Keyblade Master was... Um, I always thought Riku had a mixed one since he walked in the Twilight. Yeah, I I I thought Riku had a, a darkness keyblade, but uh, the, the walking in the twilight meant that he used his darkness keyblade for for defending the light. But no, apparently it's a light keyblade. Master Sanat, arguably the most powerful keyblade master in history, and a staunch advocate for a world where light and darkness are equal. In his thirst for knowledge, he allowed his heart to come to darkness while attempting to reproduce the Keyblade War. He was thwarted by three young Keyblade wielders, and his body was seemingly destroyed. However, Keyblade Masters have the power to remove their hearts and transfer them to other vessels. Is that a Keyblade Master power? Is that a... Are they revealing that the whole I'm removing my heart and putting my heart inside another person? Is that a specific Keyblade Master power? Interesting. Master Xehanor has leveraged his power of recombination and clash with Sora under a number of identities. That means that Lushu from, from the phone games, Lushu is also technically a Keyblade Master because Lushu is able to jump from body to body. So, hmm, that's, that's interesting, that's really interesting. Game records, dive mode. There is the boy, and the other boy. Mysterious man whose identity is masked by a brown robe, Sora encountered him in the Destiny Islands right before his first journey began. Riku has seen him as well, though neither of them ever found out 
for certain who he was. And break! The human form of Sigbar, one of the Organization 13's members, he became a nobody during a certain experiment. We already knew all this. Dream Eaters, this is a spoiler. Come worry about that. They are spoiling us. We haven't seen this yet. Oh, we technically kill a couple of them during the during the dive. This Noctilion nuisances both qu uh Noctilionin? Noctilionin. Is that a real world or did they make it up? I understand the meaning, but I don't know if that's a real world. Uh both quite the repertoire. Sober sonic confusion waves, yep, vampiric train attack. Just Wonderful. <laughs> Just wonderful, seriously. That that's good, that's good. They are cute. And you have both nightmare and a spirit. But yeah, the symbol that you were seeing, those were the dream eaters. Same as the Tirithis. Remember that? The Tirithis? And how they turn into the dream eaters with their keyblade wielders? Every nightmare and every Keyblade Wilder that we're seeing right here. See that symbol? That's the Keyblade Wilders from Dream Drop Distance. They turn uh, from Dream Drop Distance from from Union Cross. They turn into into the Dream Eaters and Nightmares, and we are finally seeing them. Ah. <laughs> I was really looking forward to this game. This this is like a big closure for. I hate that the trophies look exactly the same as the trophies in in the game we just played on on Recoded. Uh, but yeah, th this is kind of a closure for for the phone games. Tutorials, flashbacks, and game help. Sorry, I want to get rid of all the new things. I love that you can see the flashbacks oh, from from your normal menu. Abilities. We have a scan right now. How the fuck do we get our abilities? Kingdom Key. The Keyblade Sorrow began his journey with. It provides a balance boost in strength and magic. It doesn't have a specific ability attached to it. That's all. Need to remember that I can like slow motion all my way through this game. Like that. I wasn't able to do that on other games. <laughs> slow motion on On Kingdom Hearts 3 is severely nerfed. So it's it's not gonna be as as crazy as we are doing right now. Mm, save points. Save the progress, return to a world map. Switch between playable characters or in the game. Right now we can only save, we cannot change characters. Because guess what? We can play with Riku in this game. Reality shift to bend the rules of the world around you. Reality shift works differently in each world. If the symbol is pink, you can reality shift. Press triangle and circle to trigger reality shift on an item. Use it to lock on the targets. Then press X to launch. You used to do this with the touch screen, but since it doesn't have a touch screen, uh, you have to do it with the controller. I just fucking noticed how how does the Mad Hatter have a a store on on Traverse Town if the Mad Hatter was supposed to be on Wonderland? Did he get lost on Wonderland? That 
That attack is really silly. Oh, Kingdom Hearts 1. Keep pressing R1 to try and hey, I didn't catch your control the camera. <laughs> I wonder what defeating them does, because they are technically uh, they are technically keyblade wielders. So, if you defeat them, do you free them from from being dream eaters? Sakuraba, you have a surname. I'm sorry, Kingdom Hearts. No, it's really not. <laughs> That's a mouthful because we only have one name in this game. We don't have surnames. <laughs> but yeah, I wonder if you free them when you defeat them. Low motion combat. Uh, eh, come on. It's gonna take me a second to get used to the type of combat of this game. Low motion isn't just for getting around, you can also use it in combat. Press X during flow motion to perform a flow motion attack. Your basic attack command will change automatically when a flow motion attack is possible. Different flow motions will trigger different attacks, so give everything a try. Sometimes a sliding into enemies will trigger a flow motion attack. Use a slide into a large uh, enemy and you will swing around that enemy. While swinging around, press X and you can send the enemy flying. Do the flow motion thing, Jesus. That doesn't feel super consistent. Flow motion to weave together a uh, dynamic offense and you will dominate the battle in no time. Flow motion combat tutorial complete. These things with you, they're dream eaters too? Yeah. If I'm gonna survive the game, I'm gonna need some extra help. Think you could control them? Sure. Welcome to the Pokemon aspect of Kingdom Hearts. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 nom. They even have a really if cute fucking music. Down Xehanort, we need the individuals King Mickey spoke of in his letter. We must lead them out of sorrow and slumber and back to our world. To do so, seven sleeping keyholes must be found and unlocked and a great power retrieved. As you know, every world is walled off from the next, preventing travel between them. In the past, you could bridge these gaps because the walls were broken, or because you could open special lanes with your keyblades. But your new goals, the sleeping keyholes, are harder to reach. You'll recall in your first journey that you brought many worlds back from the darkness. But Did some I? never returned completely. Oh. They still sleep, cut off from all outside channels. Not even the Heartless can enter. But these sleeping worlds are said to have their own manner of darkness. They are called Dream Eaters. And there are two kinds. Nightmares, which devour happy dreams. And benevolent spirits, which consume the nightmares. The dream eaters will guide you, just as the heartless once guided you to the keyhole you seek at the heart of each world. 
Heartless, Dream Eaters and Nightmares. Meow Wow Recipe. You will now often receive Dream Pieces when you defeat Nightmares, hostile Dream Eaters. You can then use those Dream Pieces to create Spirits, friendly Dream Eaters. Go ahead and uh, get started by selecting Spirits on the main menu. Create Spirit. Create Spirits using a recipe, create Spirits from scratch. You can create them with recipes from scratch. To create a spirit using a recipe, you will need to collect the materials in advance and a recipe to starting from scratch may allow you to create spirits in unexpected ways. Once you have settled on what spirit you want to create, you can sacrifice a deck command to give your creation a stat boost. Oh, interesting. Your new spirit is part of your family. Be sure to give it a meaningful name and lots of TLC. What the fuck is TLC? <laughs> What the fuck is TLC? You cannot say TLC and not tell me what TLC means. <laughs> Meow wow. Cat or dog, boy or girl, friend or fiend. One thing is for sure, this dream eater is adorable. Warning, fire freaks it out. <laughs> that sure is a description. Rampart pigment. If you use more materials than the recipe requires, you can create a spirit with a higher level than usual. You can also sacrifice one of your commands to give the spirit a stat boost. Various types of bonuses are available. My kid has this as a stuffy? Oh! One, I didn't know or didn't remember you had a kid. Um, cool. It's, it's a cool plushie. Why not choose a command now and power up your spirit? Yeah, why not sacrifice your command? So, how many materials do we actually need? We need three? Oh, you need three. Three and two. Oh, uh, I just got a spark dive. Do mm. No, I'm not sacrificing the one that I just fucking got. This really feels like a 3DS fucking cutscene. I, I can see the movement of the things, I can see the the 3D Nintendo was intending for, for it. <laughs> this position is Mark Cookie, link points. Give your spirit uh, a name. Okay, um Chad, how are you how are we feeling about the spirits? Do do I give them the chat uh, names or or do I just make up names or the names you say? How are we feeling about the spirits? There's a bunch of characters that you can use. All the names. So, chat then. Well, Rinkusong, thank you for <laughs> for being a voluntary for for the first spirit. I hope I get, I don't get you killed. There. Looks like you and Rinkusong are off to a great start. Are we though? <laughs> Say hello to your new spirit. Training toys, photo mode. Spirits will help you in combat. Give them lots of TLC. What the fuck is TLC? You keep saying that. Use the hand icon to pet the spirit. This might change a spirit's disposition. Increase your affinity to earn experience. Use training toys to play with the spirits and help them grow. Fighting alone. Tender loving care. Is it really tender loving care? Jesus fucking Christ. LP can be spent on the ability. Each spirit has a fucking ability tree. Oh my fucking god. If you get stuck, press L1 to get the help screen. Hand icons. Poke or pet. Okay.
I think that's all we're going to get. Uh, menu? Oh, you have to pet it more? This feels weird doing this with a joystick instead of doing this with a... with a touchscreen. Did you have done it? Well, no, fuck, no. Did they release this game for PS3 or was it a PS4 only? This is a PS4 only. They should have done this with a trackpad. Open the menu and choose ability link. You can pet or poke almost infinitely. Oh, okay. But there's a point where they stop getting, like, experience, right? Or do they get infinite experience if you pet them in indefinitely? On the ability link board, you begin at the starting point, spend the link points to advance. Unlock spaces to earn new deck commands and abilities for Sora and Riku. Use some of the link points to unlock a new power. Now they get annoyed. Okay, so you don't want to you don't want to pet them up too much. That 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 is good. Special abilities can be learned and activated, which boosts your stats. So the abilities come from the spirits. Okay. Stat boosting abilities require that the spirits you obtain uh, obtain them from staying your party. So you have to give the spirits a quick. It's like a uh, birth by sleep, where you had to fuse the commands to get the ability, and you had to keep the command equipped until the uh, the the ability leveled up and you earned it. And then you can like change the the spirit. I, I'm guessing. Your basic attacks and spirit attacks connect at the same time. Both attacks will power up and send the opponents flying. Performing this link critical will give your link gauge a huge boost. Each spirit's ability link board offers different rewards. Create new spirits, nurture them to gain the edge on your adventure. Okay. When you're bonding with your spirit, press R1 to enter photo mode. The surrounding text will disappear, giving you the perfect opportunity for a screenshot. Creating and nurturing spirits tutorial complete. This game is a lot. Puppy. Puppy, also known as Rikuzo. Now, now I have to not get you killed. Oh, what? You must install command decks and use them in the main menu. Choose the command deck and edit deck. To easily jump uh, to this shortcut in combat, press L1. Oh, okay. I just got an ability, didn't I? Item boost, yeah. Available, locked, and locked. Oh, wait! Available from these spirits. So we get item boost, attack haste, and magic haste. A magic boost and defense boost. Jesus, Meow Wow gives a shit ton of abilities. You can unlock this ability via... Oh, we don't have them. They are available, but we don't have them equipped. Poison block. We have a scan. Leaf bracer, not yet. But link critical, yes. This is a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. <laughs> but I, I, can, I can deal with it, I guess. Heartless. Living embodiments of darkness within our hearts, and therefore the darkness that has been in the world since the inception. Although they originate in our hearts, they have no hearts of their own, hence their name. They instinctively hunt for hearts, and survive and reproduce by stealing them. They have no leaders or uh, hierarchy. Least of the chaotic pure bloods, uh, which arise spontaneously. The emblem heartless, those created artificially by Xehanort and some behave in much the same way. Except for some reason, the organization 13 and Maleficent are able to order the har the heartless around, which contradicts what you just read. There's a flow motion record, seriously. Cat or dog, boy or girl.
and the panda. The bigger they are, the harder they claw. It will take more than a few punches to punch. To the punch to make this lumbering panda see this. I fucking hate how many puns there are in this game. And at the same time, I'm really proud of <laughs> the developers for putting them. Oh my god, the menu is a straight up birth by sleep. Okay, uh, fuck the potions? I don't know if I want to do this, honestly. Quick Blitz, Fire, and Blizzard. Uh, let's take Blizzard out for now. Spark Knife, create an electric shock wave that may stun some surrounding enemies, ground based foes. Sliding Dust, punish the enemies uh, with a charge. Sliding Dust is useful. Especially for traversal. Not that we actually need it, now that I think about it. Because we have the... We got an ice cream cone? Sweet treat that spirits like in some... It sometimes boosts the magic and changes the spirit disposition. Bond change party create spirits ability. Uh, stats. Rikusan. Disposition is smart cookie. What does the disposition mean? The term means how they behave in battle. Use the link points on a spirit uh, ability ward to purchase abilities. But you do have an ice cream, so. I forgot about this. It's it's fine. I I'm talking aloud. Um, you do, don't have to give me all the answers. It's a shit ton of new things. So, if your spirit is reluctant to accept your gift, return to the playscape and try touching the tree icon with the hand icon. any training toys. Okay! We did see all those abilities. Uh... Oh! Okay, so that I know you. Okay. Change party, create spirits, and ability link. You only have 10 points. Cure! Okay, so we want to get to 50 points to get cure. I fucking love that we can do that. Are those angry cats? I also love that you have like almost fucking infinite jump. Sorry puppies. Well, to explode. Ooh, sliding dash is a bit too fucking broken. Can I climb the... No ladders because you can climb anything. Oh, when they despawn, they spawn back with the health they used to have. I keep pressing R1 to try and lock on, and it's not working because it's not the game I was playing, but... Ah. I have 
Air Dash? Oh, yeah, apparently I have Air Dash. Traveling thing. Okay. Okay, uh... Neko went through there. Oh, you can do that? Sir! Don't attack my cat! Apparently we cannot go anywhere. What is this bubble thing? Together. Together. I know this attack from Kingdom Hearts 3. That's that's all I know about fucking 3 meters. Dream pieces. I don't have a recipe. I could just risk it and try to make a new one. Do we actually have to open all the. Oh my god, we have to open the abilities for it to mark them. I swear to fucking god. Maximum uh, HP increase. Okay. Rampart figment, intrepid figment, and vibrant. Okay, Meow will need it. What? Rampart and vibrant. So I'm going to use the other two that I don't. that are not required on Meow. Which ones were? <laughs> Rampart, vibrant. Rampart, vibrant. So, Intrepid... And, oh, it tells you which one you get? I'm traveling. 70% chance. Oh, you need... 5. Neat. Still not have enough. At least it kind of shows you what you're fucking getting. <laughs> oh... Prickle main, prickle maze. Oh, it, it's weird looking. You, you are so. Oh my god, you are so fucking weird. Let's look at prickle main because that. Oh, that that's a weird looking cat. Ma. Ma, there's a weird fucking cat in here. <laughs> Looks like grandmother fucking thing. seating emote oh that's that's cute i need to make uh emotes for this game Spouncy pink cushions take stick and move to a whole new level look at how they turn into red with rage what the heck are even these pokemon do, do you want the, the the funny answer or do you want the canon answer pete because i i could give you the canon answer and and it's not fun Work has me tired, vacation was good. Ooh! Neat. 
the 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 good vacation, not work having to type. So, what answer do you want, Pig? It's a heavy rip! A heavy rip! Oh my god, the names are good, the names are really fun. Hyperactive and real handful, these reptiles rock, uh, rock it hard when they roll. Dodge their attacks and then counter. Oh. Oh, that's the map. How do you see on first person? They have Beyblade, let them rip. Kingdom Hearts Pokemon? Kingdom Hearts Pokemon. Yeah, this game was Kingdom Hearts Pokemon. But then, they explained on the phone game on Union Cross that this creature that you see here is actually a Keyblade Wielder that died. So, back in the day, back in the... Really, 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 really early days of the Keyblade Wielders. There was something called the Keyblade War. During the Keyblade War, a bunch of people died, and only a handful of them survived, called the Dandelions. The Dandelions had a bunch of PTSD, so the Keyblade Masters that were awake made the Dream Eaters also known as the Tirithis, to eat their nightmares and their PTSD while they slept, because PTSD leads you to darkness. So, they made the Dream Eaters. The original Dream Eaters were called the Tirithi. The Tirithis helped the Kivli Wilders to go through their trauma by eating their nightmares when they slept. But, but, they also had another function. When the new Keyblade War happened. So that cat is the ghost of Sora's predecessors? Yes. Yes and no. When the new Keyblade War happened and a bunch of Keyblade Wilders died again, their spirits had two choices. Reincarnating or fusing with their Tirithi until their Tirithi or someone could free them and give them back their body. Don't you just and know me? You s <laughs> it's not my fault Kingdom Hearts is a yes and no kind of answer. I'm giving you the canon answer. The canon answer is when you die as a Keyblade Wielder, if you have a Tirithi, you have two options. Fuse with your Tirithi and turn into a Dream Eater and you can come back to life eventually. Or you can reincarnate right away, but you will lose your memories and everything you hold dear. So, every Dream Eater you see in here is someone that was a Kibli Wilder and that died. And they they became tiny cute animals for you to capture like Pokemon. <laughs> Why do I feel that you would be more angry than Barry learning about <laughs> than Barry learning about the Lord? Don't explode! Okay. Oh, they don't explode, they just grow angry. I brought you Sora. We had a bargain. Sorry, I still have the What's energy the matter, tomorrow. Neku? Fair, 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 fair. fair. So what you're saying is that we have to do a stream with me as, uh, explain the lore of Kingdom Hearts no to you way. because you don't want to play the games. Hey, that wasn't the deal. You said you wouldn't hurt it. Don't let go. Tenable lore is really easy to understand in comparison to this. It it really is. I don't know about, a lot about Tenable, but what I know it seems a lot more easier. Mildly more cures that you piece them together from crafting items. That's also another really fucked up thing. The only, the only Kibli wielders that you find. Um, sorry, this is loud as fuck. Can you, can you pause? Sorry, give me, give me a fucking second. Um, <laughs> that's super loud. Uh, the only Kibli wielders that you find, the only dream eaters that you find completely, are the nightmares, which means that they. 
turn into dream eaters to protect their hearts, but they all fell to darkness and they all turn into nightmares. <laughs> so what you're doing by creating your own dream eaters is freeing their heart from the darkness that ate them. But you have to defeat them, destroy them to pieces, and craft them together again, which doesn't give you the assurance that you are actually rebuilding the person correctly. You're just like Frankenstein in the whole thing. Ouch. Be cool. I really don't know what I'm doing on this. Just winging it. They ate all the PTSD and absorbed it. Yeah. Silver Diver. Pot. Well, welcome to Am Riku's I side of Dream Drop Distance. My clothes have changed. Sora! Where are you? Why do Sora and Riku notice that their clothes have changed, but they don't notice that they I are, like, fell not as tall as they used to be? <laughs> and then I think we opened a keyhole. So, this must be one of the sleeping worlds. Like, they both My reverse to the... To the height they had sort of when they were kids on Kingdom Hearts 1. When I needed it most. Right. It started. Wow. What? Where's your portal? Huh? It takes something special to jump between grounds without one. Who are you? My name Hi, is Joshua. Joshua. What do you mean, portal? Are we just skipping past the part where you tell me your name? Riku. <laughs> Hello there, Riku. Portals are like gateways that link up our worlds. Apparently, the world you and I are standing in right now, well, there are two copies of it. It's been sort of split in half. Portals are what let folks like us cross between them. There can be two of a world? The world is as many things as people need it to be. The concept that we all live in the same world that's just in our heads. Surely you knew. Don't get metaphysical with me, you piece of shit. Sorry, I, I don't like Joshua a lot. I don't trust you. From his own game. Yeah, no, you do you do well on not trusting him. I'm looking for a girl named Rhine. She's the key to the portal. And on the other side, who knows who we'll find? Maybe even your friend, Sora. You know Sora? <laughs> now I have your attention. But unfortunately, I don't know where he is. If he's not in this version of the world, I can only assume he has to be in the other one. Simple logic. Okay. You want to find Rhyme? You got it. Let's go. Link portals. Approach a pink dot and press X to uh, access a link portal. Once accessed, you can face off against 
or team up with spirits from other worlds. Each portal is marked with a difficulty level, so don't bite more than you can chew. Stars indicate the difficulty level. Pull three of at least three flow motion attacks. Portals won't disappear when you if you give up. Gear up and try again. Okay. This game has a lot of shit, doesn't it? No shit in a bad sense, but it's it's just a fucking lot. Hey, Rico is using the keyblade. Good for him. Confetti candy. Does this stop the time when you're doing it? It does. Cool. Neat. Goat! Oh fuck. It didn't sling it. Oh, this must have been a nightmare. At least for like slinging it and controlling it, it, it must have been better. Uh, in what happened to the thing? It must have been better on on 3DS, but for changing the camera, that, I, I'm pretty sure it wasn't super good. I love how Riku doesn't need a, a tutorial on flow motion, he just goes with the flow. Changing the camera was a nightmare? I'm... I, I haven't played a, a bunch of... Uh, fuck. Uh, I haven't played a, a bunch of 3DS games, so I, I don't know much about it. But I was I was thinking that maybe this is one of those games that like could have used the uh, the second joystick accessory thing that they released. Borrow these spirits, and they will return home after a certain amount of time. So I'm just borrowing the spirits? Don't... Like, they, they don't... Oh! Interesting. Joshua, why don't they ever attack you? So not all the portals are dreamers? fights. They won't go after you unless you're a dreamer. Which is funny because I've got plenty of dreams. But they're definitely attacking me. So, you think I'm a dreamer? Every human being is a dreamer. I had a friend once who said he never dreamed of anything, but it turned out that his were the most powerful dreams of all. We will you see what he's talking about them. when we play the fucking game. We will play and the world with each you. Of your dreams shape in this a screen, game, yes, it is. Form as dream eaters, which can become great allies. Yeah, no, I feel the same, pig. I remember the first the world sent with you, and I don't trust Joshua. <laughs> I still have to play the second one. Also, I don't know if you have noticed, but look at Riku's bag. Try creating a new spirit. Blizzard or Spark Dive? Oh, fuck it. Time to play God and bring someone back to life. Kinda. Well, uh, who wants to be the name of this spirit? Uh, Pig, do you want to be the name? Uh, gamer. I'll give you a second to to answer. Pig answer. Pig gets it. Like bats? Ooh, neat. They have like tiny pig noses sometimes. It's a 
cute thing. It's a cute thing. Weird, but cute. I got you now, Joshua. Hmm? Once I take you down, yo, me and Rhymes is going back where we belong. I love that they are all the fucking the world's in with you voice actors. You've been like the same people. By that rogue in the black coat. What? Black coats? But that's I'm telling you, you've made a friend of our enemy. Just can it, alright? Your inverse psychiatry ain't gonna work. Let's go! Three meters! <laughs> what? Ugh, man, not cool. Pokemon fight! <laughs> Linking with the spirits. I just did that with Sora, but yeah, no, explain me how to do it. Sora and Rigwitch have new link spirits in their unique way. Completely fill up a spirit link gauge and they will lend you their power. Sora used link attacks to team up with their spirits and take the enemy. We could change his link styles, absorbing the spirits to power up his combos for a period of time. That is important. The link gauge will refill as the spirit attacks connect with the, uh, as the spirits attacks connect with the enemy. So you want your spirit to attack the enemy. Switch to the link command and press triangle to unleash an attack. Blah 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 blah. Link with two spirits simultaneously to initiate a powerful dual link. You can dual link? Oh. Riku using darkness again? Fill up the link gauges of both the spirits in your party and you can dual link. Perform a dual link, uh, move through the commands, press triangle. I have already read that. You don't have to explain me two uh, times. You know what? Forget it. This is stale, yo. <laughs> I always <laughs> wanted his beanie. It's a really I cool fucking beanie. I, just I still want it. want to protect the one person who matters. <laughs> I know the feeling. Yeah, you said those words exactly to Terra. Ten years ago. The Keyblade War flashback? That sounds bad. <laughs> hey, do you want to have war flashbacks? In the age of fairy tales, the world was filled with light. A gift many believed from an unseen power known as Kingdom Hearts. You see, Kingdom Hearts was protected by its counterpart, the Keyblade, so that none could ever lay hands on its mysteries. But in time, the world was overrun by legions who wanted the light all for themselves, and the first shadows were cast upon the land. These warriors crafted keyblades. I love how the sadly the they showed the skull of a lot of people died. Great war over Kingdom Hearts. We call this the Keyblade War. But though the war extinguished all light from the world, the darkness could not reach the brightness inside every child's heart. With Enter light, the Dandelions. The world was remade as we know it today. With countless smaller worlds shining like stars in the sky. As for the real Keyblade, it did not survive the battle. The two elements that created it, one of darkness and one of light, shattered into twenty pieces. Thirteen seven of, of light, darkness and seven of thirteen light. Thirteen of darkness. And as for the source of all light, the one true Kingdom Hearts. It was swallowed by the darkness, never to Also, they have again. established that the real Kingdom Hearts has disappeared there, forever. Even the brightest world will have its dark corners. Interesting. After all, light begets darkness, and darkness is drawn to light. For this reason, some decided to use the Keyblade 
a weapon designed to conquer the light, to defend the light instead. These were the first heroes of the Keyblade. The Keyblade War. And Kingdom Hearts. And the Keyblade. Sorry, I stopped sleeping. Get up. Lazy home. Where is he? They're both gone. Before I fell asleep, Neku said that I forgot that they have a summary team. every time you change from what was the Sora deal? to Riku. Are the two of them in league? That can't be right. Oh, this is the most portable game bullshit ever. Like, I I oh yeah, last time you were playing, <laughs> this happened. <laughs> Dropping between characters in this game, you will alternate between Sora and Riku to progress through the story. To drop or switch between characters, just select drop on the pause menu or in the main menu. The drop gauge continues to decrease as you explore the field. Drop speed. Sleep or other negative statuses will cause your drop gauge to drain more quickly. AKA, the game will force you to change characters if you don't. When the drop gauge runs out, you will enter bonus time and droplets will appear more often. After bonus time ends, you will drop into the next character. Did you find something? You found something! Yeah, well. Yeah, attack the clearly unstable electric thing. That that's a good idea, Sora. Poppy. Okay, Rikusan, can you level up or give me abilities or something? Yes, you can. Okay. It feels super fucking weird to do with a joystick. It doesn't feel really good. This is one of the few things that I can think of. This position change. One of the few things that I can think of that are better with a touchscreen. Because using the the joystick, the, uh, the the joystick doesn't feel nice. Jesus! You move a lot, don't you? Is this all? When do you know that you have, like, scratched them enough? There, okay, the game answer. I love how it barks! We do have toys. Training toys balloons. The spirits will bounce on the balloons towards you. Tap on the... If you can use the trackpad, why the fuck didn't you use the trackpad to take... To, like, scratch the, 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 the fucking thingies? You could have used the trackpad for the... For the... Dreamer... Uh, dream Eaters. Tap as the arrows appear for more points. Okay. I was... How the fuck... How... Excuse me, we have to... I failed that completely, okay. Candy!
I wanted to give you the candy, not to scratch you, but... Oh, poking and scratching is different. It gives you different things. Rikuson? Candy? Get the candy behind you, dummy. There you go. Still not angry about the poking. Poking doesn't seem to give you as much experience or rewards as scratching does. Okay, we still have only 40. God damn it. Grants you the ability shown item boost. Or magic haste. But I have to unlock cure first. This is a lot. <laughs> So, uh, going from from recoded, which didn't have much, to this feels super overwhelming. An ancient and epic world that lives in the fairy tales, it erupted over a sacred place known as Kingdom Hearts, the source of all light. Kibli wielders from all the legions of light and darkness bade uh, bide? Bide to control Kingdom Hearts and wipe out all the world's light as a result. Legends has it that fragmented world we know today survive from the last glimmers of light within the hearts of children. According to legend, the source of all lights is known as Kingdom Hearts. We know Xehanort has created two Kingdom Hearts now, both artificially by amassing enough hearts. One was made from the hearts of the worlds, and the other one was made from the hearts of people. The Kingdom Hearts made from the hearts of the worlds had a door that led to the realm of darkness. Its depths were never fully charted. Uh, the Kingdom Hearts made from the hearts of the uh, people. Jesus fucking Christ. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Was believed to have the power to complete, recomplete someone whose heart has been lost. So they are not revealing new information there, they are just saying what they already uh, told us on the previous games. Kingdom Hearts is a log, then the blade uh, from the Age of Fairy Tales was the key. It could be argued that without the key blade, the key blade war might have never been waged after all. You cannot possess what you cannot find or unlock. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. It is clear that the blade was the inspiration for human wrought keyblades. So the original keyblade was not human made? The letter key can be pronounced both key or kai, leading to some confusion. And symbolizes the perfect crossing of I love that even the fucking report said <laughs> leading to some confusion. Uh, leading to some confusion and symbolizes the perfect crossing of light and darkness. The keyblade can be forged via a high dimensional clash between two poles. High dimensional clash. It's believed that the Recusant Sigil also derives from the key. Do we know what the Recusant Sigil is? No, not yet. Thank you for spoiling it, game. <laughs>
Oh, this is confusing as shit. Especially when you have a wall behind you. Level up. Oh, it tells you the things it's going to hit. Neat. Hey, Gusen, where are you going? Oh, borrow the spirits, they will return. What do you mean difficulty? I love that the tests are the same for both Sora and Riku. Also, Sora, you need to level up, my dude. seem to do much. Seems to deal some damage, but not a lot. What the fuck is Rikus on? Borrow the spirits. Oh, so some of the portals are just to, like, borrow spirits that you can... That you can use. Oh, Rikuzen was down here fighting the, the other spirits. Not bad. Surely but slowly we're getting there. Not the most efficient <laughs> attack, but hey, it's something. Yeah. This trick one, I guess. I hate how jiggly that is, especially with the, you know, the mouth. That looks like a glory hole. Mm -hmm. 
You sell human parts? Paint gun, paint black, paint yellow and green. You can change the color of the spirits? Oh! Training toy that lets you play with the spirits in an underwater prize playground. Training toy that lets you teach your spirits to catch two types of candy at once. Heavy rep and prequel rain recipes. I don't have a lot of money, so... You know what, fuck it, I'm all getting. Can I learn Cure now? Because I really need it. Because I'm, I really need to learn Cure. <laughs> Want to unequip the potions? I don't like the potions. <laughs> we have enough for Cure. Neat. Level. Level 10. What do you unlock? Cura. Oh. Magic Caste or Item Boost? Slow or Light Screen? Light Screen sounds like a lower level of Reflect. You have an item there, whatever that is. Recipes we can create the weird fucking cat. Sorry, gamer, you have to be the weird fucking cat. Position intellectual? Not bad. If anyone in chat wants to be one of these creatures, speak now. What is what is the party? Also, where are the other ones? I'm already a cute bat. You are a cute bat. Yeah. Oh, I have the bat because I created the bat with Riku, and Sora and Riku share the. The Dream Eaters. Okay. So we have Riku Zone, Mr. Pig, and Gamer. Easy as one, two, three, as it says there. Doesn't like being scratched a lot. Pig does like it more. Also moves a shit ton, it's really hard to scratch it.
Wait, did it say saboteuring? No. Pig, what are you doing? Are you trying to sabotage me? Huh. Waking dream. <laughs> Fucking love that emote. <laughs> Is that a Twitch emote? Strike rate, not bad. There is food in here. Eat it before the Meow Wow eats it. There. It's a global emote? Oh, this is the first time I see it. It really looks like a stock picture. So I was wondering if it was from Twitch or not. Confused. Not enough points. Okay. Just me and my Pokemons. What about the third spirit? Why why is it not showing? Why why is the third spirit there? Oh, the third spirit is just a reserve, kinda. Guessing that you can still have it equipped to have the abilities and also um also level up, even if you're not using them. Can I level up Earthlight? No. Then why are you shining? Cure. Yeah, we can use Cure. Fuck the potions. Okay. HP boost, item boost, magic haste, fire screen. What did I unlock? Combo plus? Did I unlock combo plus? Not yet. Waking Dream, okay. Ensures the spirits always retain 1 HP after attacks that would otherwise... Oh, that's a good ability to have. And reports. Do we get new? Tama ship, oh! This Rolly Poly Dream Eater loves to sleep and so will uh, so will and so will opponents. So will the opponents it gets its lamp chomp up. At least it defense its defenses are um uh, mutton to work. Why do you force the joke so much? This is worse than Animal Crossing, Jesus Christ. Jogi Ram. What do rams do? They ram you. Real talk, nobody rams like a ram does. Better wait for an open. I hate this game. <laughs> is it though, Pig? Is it though? <laughs> Your reaction is is making this game even better. <laughs> gotta admit though, gotta admit, the jokes are a bit too much. Why are you so shiny? Also, where the fuck do I have to go? Is that all? Apparently it was. 
Oh, the... Jesus, it's lighting that she's a B too much. I just noticed that the big guys can only be um, pushed when you damage them first and that they are not like the large bodies on on other Kingdom Hearts, you can pull off at least three flow motion attacks. Okay. Is that at least three? That's a loop. Three. Neat. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, that they are not like the other big enemies from previous Kingdom Hearts. They, they don't have like the frontal defense like the large bodies have. Rampant Fantasy, Reward, Confetti Candy, uh, Points Prize. Okay, cool. Can I go up there? Not from here. I want to climb in that balcony. There's nothing in the balcony, but you can get inside if you wanted to. Okay, talk to the mailbox. Oh, ew, no, 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 that's even worse now. Leave this area? Yeah. Whatever, if possible. The puzzle fix. This is a new area. But at least I haven't seen yet. This takes to the streets of the first district. This feels a lot like the Monster Sync level of Kingdom Hearts 3. I think I'm going to want to equip Sliding Dash because Sliding Dash is like taking me way too far away from every single fucking enemy. And I just noticed you can flow motion the cats. trying to show me? It is! Snakes are gone. There was a chest down there. You can do multiple air, sli uh, air slides. Cool. Do, 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 do. There's a big chest up there. And this is not confusing at all. Oh, this is the menu to change the... I kind of want to do like a dual fusion. Ah, 
<laughs> you can throw the enemies on top of other enemies. That's what I noticed before. You can flow motion them or you can do that. Now what I wanted to do... I'm not a big fan of the flow motion. I love that they nerfed the flow motion on Kingdom Hearts 3 because this is a bit too confusing for me. What I wanted to do, game. Another thing, I can break. Neat. I'm sure no one will miss those those packages. Have to admit, it feels fucking great to level up like this, like... Like have an organic level up compared to what I was doing on, on the previous game I was playing, because Jesus Christ, it was a mess to level up there. have to be careful and not press a square two times because that will fuck it up. So you can abuse the flow motion a tiny bit. Spark? What the fuck is a spark? Is it a command? Blazer spark. Summon a ring revolving light crystals that deals damage to enemies surrounding. So it's a light base attack. Okay. Items... More dream pieces, okay. I hate that you have to open the ability to unmark them. I will do that later, I'm not a big fan of that mechanic. Did we get a new enemy? No, treasures. We had to go through the foe door. That one there. But is there anything else in here? The elevator? We didn't use the elevator. Not what I wanted to do, but hey, it works. Oh, the elevator takes us to where we were going. Was that a test? Oh, he sure was. That's a bit fucking broken, isn't it, sir? Using uh, movement tech is the most fun thing in any way. Yeah, I didn't see what I got, but it sure isn't important. I like this whole new area. I like how they they took something we knew from Kingdom Hearts One, uh, Chain of Memories, recoded. <laughs> Like, we have been to Traverse Town a bunch, and they managed to, to give it new areas and make it fresh. Even if it is confusing as fuck. In fact, this whole area, like the, the postal service um, and this area in here are completely new. So I'm assuming you are the same as the thing in the postal service? Yes, you are. Yeah. 
Neat. More human remains. Anything here? These boxes in here are super suspicious. Aha! Balloon. Sometimes when my own dream eaters spawn, it feels like... Uh, like an enemy is spawning because they have the same spawning uh, effects. Oh, the gauge goes to the right. It doesn't go from left to right. It goes. Uh, it doesn't go from right to left like the other gauges. Ouch! They can cancel your abilities, apparently. Hey, Chungus Among Us, how are you doing? Well, at least three flow motion attacks. I can do that. Is that a fucking penguin? Oh, that attack takes forever to load. Jesus. Goodbye. Damn win. Where are the other enemies? Oh, they went down. There we go. Going through Dark Souls 1. Oh! Uh, playing the Kingdom Hearts franchise, pretty much. <laughs> I'm not doing much else. Um, mañana, en español, empezamos el Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Me vamos a jugar todos los Zelda. Green Figment, Challenge Complete, Ice Cream Cone. What the fuck do I go? Is there a saving point in here? Oh, you can right away drop. Oh! Drop and change character. Heavyweight Hulk sighted. X? What the fuck? What do you mean forecast? What do you mean? What is this? Ordinary day, just a peaceful, uneventful day. Oh, there is a forecast for the different jobs? Oh my fucking god. Sudest. <laughs> oh, it's fine, uh, Chungus. Thank you. This game is a fucking lot. This game is a lot. Really, bonus. 
Earn bonuses with drop points. When you drop, a screen will appear where you can spend the drop points to give the next character a bonus. Collect droplets, find and complete the link portal. Oh, if you find the portal with the other one, that was the forecast. Okay. Lord, this is coming from a guy who played Dark Souls. I mean, Dark Souls is a bit more like what if something happened? doesn't make sense, they tell you that it doesn't that make sense. Um, Kingdom Hearts is confusing. Uh, uh, as someone who plays Kingdom Hearts a lot, it is confusing. Where I can say Joshua it. Beat? Hey, do you mind? Huh? But only only the things that we don't have answers for. Like if if we have the answers for it, it's not as confusing. You just have to pay attention. Where did you go? Existence is convoluted. It really is. Stay back. Hi, Rhyme. Sleep is a tad broken. Those guys are made of fire, Riku, that didn't do much. Uh, I took out our skin and smoke. Ooh, neat. I know that's a difficult fight. I have not gotten to them. The the only souls I have finished is uh, demon souls. I still have to get through them eventually. I will play Bloodborne soon. Uh, it's one of the charity rewards if I remember correctly. Playing Bloodborne and getting the lore explained by Max. <laughs> I'm Shiki. How about you? Riku. Thanks, Riku. Oh, that's right. You're sure. not rhyme. You're Shiki. Sorry. Hey, rhyme is uh you chat up a girl the, and just say, the sister of Pete. I'm bad at this. Sorry. <laughs> I'm bad at this. I'm like it's Neku. I'm here. sorry. You should not super home. social. If it's dangerous, how can you just leave me here? Aren't you my knight in shining armor? No. Well? Knight? You've got the wrong idea. Oh my gosh. Bloodborne is so crazy, I Yeah, I know. Uh, much. I remember Dark Souls is more like agile Maybe about dodging. Guy, Demon Souls was about blocking. Good thing we met. And uh, yeah, Bloodborne is about attacking relentlessly. <laughs> That's all I remember. Is this the challenge they mentioned? <laughs> Shooting them in the face with good timing. Yes, and I love that the parry is uh, with the gun, but what I don't like is that the parry is limited because of the bullets. That's my only big complaint about it. Do you have to throw them something? Yeah, I probably have to throw something on those boxes. Feed all the spirits. This is not the challenge they were mentioning. And 
challenge completed. I understand you get more heals and rounds through killing. So it's a risk reward kind of thing? I, I never understood how you got the bullets. I Out of the people I have seen playing Bloodborne, most of most of them tend to like ignore the the countering in that game. Okay, command deck. Let's get rid of a sliding dash. Because you are not helping. Blizzard. Thank you. So Riku doesn't have all the same attacks as Sora. But he has the attacks. Does he though? It seems he has. Ghibli Riku began his journey with it provides a balanced boost of strength and magic. Sora is a nice guy. So what I'm going to do is have uh, Mr. Big on Riku's uh, team, and I'm going to make someone else for Riku's team. Just seems like a kind person. He is to the point where sometimes he's stupid. Uh, like he's way too trustworthy. Excuse me, what did it? Did that say that? Oh, I was looking at the... Okay. Also, I haven't checked up here with Riku. What was I then? Ah, uh, yeah, um, Riku's a bit too, not Riku, uh, Sora is a bit too, like, way too kind-hearted. Were you saying you have a discount? Today's bargain day, I have new exclusive items. Okay. Thunder. No recipes, though, right? No recipes, okay. Okay, Chungus, you are getting the new, uh, the new character, Green Figment. Can fuse the Green Figment with anything. Vibrant with traveling. You could get the ship or, or the ship. Rampant with Intrepid, Cat, Meow Clown. Not the clowns. What do you prefer, sheep or snake? Uh, Chungus? You can get a sheep or a snake. Choose for you, so snake. And we are giving it sliding dash because we don't use that. What I don't know if you 
is if your full name will fit in there. It's more like a lizard. It does have legs. Disposition Hydra? From a Dark Souls perspective? It doesn't fit. <laughs> so it's gonna be Mac Jungus. Straight sword, spell balance, strength, and dexterity. Ooh, neat! Balloon toys, what the fuck is this? Desire candy, red candy, blue candy, training toys, candy goggles. Move the cursor and press L1 or R1 to treat your spirits to the type of candy they want. Huh. Throw candy boxes to fill it up. Oh, it's a shooter! Oh, this is gonna be a mess. What are all these people? These are not my, my dream eaters. Confusing minigame. This is a really confusing minigame that I will not do often. Okay, we can get confused from Mr. P. Neat. Train drive grants you the command shown. Dark screen or zero gravity. Dark screen sounds fine. We can get both. Confusion block. Confusion block. Mm, tempting, but I cannot get it. So dark screen. Magic boost. Okay. Yeah, the song is is full. Yeah, 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 yeah. Another fire. HP boost. Okay, command deck, command list. Uh, we do have a fire. What's the point of having two fires? You cannot fuse the commands. Well, you could equip multiple fires, never mind. Stupid question. Create a small anti gravity field that sends foes into a drift of continual damage. Okay. So it's the gravity from Kingdom Hearts 2. Gravity or magnet? I don't know. What is dark screen? Increases your resistance to dark attacks, multi-install the ability to- Oh, that's dark screen, okay. Uh, 
Okay, you can just drop. Oh. oh. Pop with a pedal sighted. Potion, 20% discount. Overcast friends and foes receive a 20% boost in magic. 20%. Not bad. Okay, I am loving this game. It's weird as shit. There is a lot to process. Especially like mechanic wise this this might be the the most fucking complex kingdom hearts i have ever played like i, I don't know how people didn't understand uh kingdom hearts days and they said the the ability menu was confusing and then they liked this game because this mechanic wise this game is the most confusing one like it, it has way too many mechanics and most of them were designed for a nintendo 3ds and it doesn't fully translate well to, to a PlayStation. Uh, but it's a really good, funny game. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to leave this one here. As usual, I'm going to see who to rate. And for now, I think I'm going to leave it here. Do -do 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 -do. I hope you enjoyed the Kingdom Hearts day. I wasn't expecting to, to start <laughs> Dream Drop Distance today. I will be back with the secret bosses of Kingdom Hearts 2 and the secret fights of Kingdom Hearts uh, Recoded. Kingdom Hearts has one of the craziest long titles ever. Yeah. Uh, I'll be back with the secret bosses of Kingdom Hearts 2 and Recoded sometime next week but I will do the side quest of Recoded on my own I will do the side quest on my own I will level up on my own and I will leave the secret boss fights for uh, for a stream but yeah that's it from now I will see you on the next stream something something Sephiroth I did defeat Sephiroth already both on Kingdom Hearts 2 and 1 so, Sephiroth is not a thing. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching as usual. If you want to be on the credits, like the good folks you're seeing right now, like Yui, Mr. P, Greg, Peter Parker, Spider Man, Neaya, Queen of Sides, Riku Song. You just have to support the channel. Just subscribe, give subs, use beats, or tip the channel on the streams or coffee. Give you, give me something from Throne or buy merch and give yourself something. All that puts you on the credits for a month. So, yeah, let's see.